The New Testament Book of Revelation, also called the Apocalypse, describes future events, spanning about seven years, which will be followed by a thousand years of peace. Finally, God will make new, the heaven and the earth. During a period of conquest, war, scarcity and murderous persecution of Christians, a quarter of the world's population will perish. There will come a great earth tremor, accompanied by a darkened sun and moon. The great will take to their underground bunkers, fearing the return of the Messiah, whilst an evangelistic force of some 144,000 Israelis will deploy across the land. Massive destruction will ensue, affecting a third of the earth, sea, water and light sources. There will come a five-month period, during which scorpion-like creatures will torment unbelievers. Since these will not repent, spirit beings will kill a third of the world's population. An earth tremor will initiate three and a half years, under an evil, miracle-working dictator, who will declare war against Christians. He will blaspheme against God, and he will force everyone to receive a personal identification mark. A false prophet will command everyone to worship an image. The dictator will gain power over a ten-nation confederacy, which will destroy a worldwide banking cartel. Finally, the armies of many nations will converge on Israel, to make war against the Messiah, who will destroy them completely. Messiah will rescue the surviving righteous, who await his coming. Messiah will send to hell the dictator and the false prophet, and will slay all who refuse to repent. Next, the Messiah will imprison Satan, will judge the nations, for how they treated his followers, and will set up a worldwide government, administered by his resurrected followers. These will reign with Messiah, over the nations, for a thousand years. Then, Satan will be released from prison, to lead a final rebellion against the Messiah. The Messiah will cast Satan into hell forever, and he will destroy all rebels. God will resurrect the unbelievers, and will judge them justly. Lastly, God will renew the heaven and the earth, setting up, on earth, a great city that will endure forever, populated by those who obey him.